Hi, I'm Kathy McKenzie, and I'm a storyteller. I have three books available at Lakewood Library that I want to talk with you about, but first I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I probably started telling myself stories almost as soon as I could talk. I can remember when I was a kid whirling around my bedroom and spinning out adventures with me as the main character. And I started writing stories down when I was about 10. I was born with a visual impairment. And by the time I was writing stories down, I could no longer see well enough to read my handwriting. So I begged my family and friends to read them to me. I also loved books and I begged my mom to read books to me. Now, my mom was a busy lady. Not only did she have to take care of the house and raise four kids, but she had a, we lived on a farm, so she had a lot of outside farm work to do. But she did read some books to me. Um, my favorite book that she read to me was my friend Flicka about a boy who grew up on a ranch and his horse, Flicka, I can remember my mom reading parts to my dad at breakfast that we had read the night before, and they would talk about how challenges on a ranch were similar to challenges on a farm. When I was 11, I learned to read Braille and to type, and I found out about audiobooks. This made a world of difference in my life. I could read all the books I wanted to, and I started typing and writing out in Braille my own stories. I was a very brave teenager. I would type out stories, and uh, even though I couldn't read them to make corrections or edit, I would mail them off to lots of magazines. I did have a few stories and poems published in magazines. One that was a magazine specifically for people with visual impairments and a couple of teen magazines and one that was from our church. Then for more than 30 years, I wrote very rarely using college and work and raising a family as an excuse. I didn't give up on stories though. I loved telling my kids stories and reading books to them for as long as they would let me. We read the Chronicles of Narnia and the Little House books, my favorite book ever, To Kill a Mockingbird, so many more. I always said that I would write again when I retired. Then, nine years ago, I had to stop working because of health reasons, and I told myself that if I didn't use this time for writing, I'd just be silly. I started writing stories with my kids as the main char characters, goofy stories. I wrote articles, and I had some articles published in one of the same magazines that had published my work back when I was a teenager, Dialogue Magazine for the Blind. Then I found out about an online writing group, American Christian Fiction Writers, ACFW. This was just wonderful for me because I wanted to write women's fiction with a Christian slant. So I just learned so much from this group. They have online classes and critique groups where writers read each other's work and make suggestions. I also met my publisher from ACFW, the uh, publisher who's done all three of my books. And I'll always be grateful to them for taking um, a chance on an, an unknown writer. I want to show you my books. The 
first one, All My Tears, was published in 2019. It's a collection of novellas. The second, Millie's Christmas, is a children's Christmas story told from the point of view of the family cat. So that was just a delight to write. My latest book came out this February on my 60th birthday, Gifts of Grace. It was a great birthday present as well as helping me not to be quite so sad about turning 60. Both of my adult books are collections of women's fiction novellas, stories about women who have different rights, life struggles, and find hope in Jesus. I want to tell you about the novellas in my latest book, Gifts of Grace. There are three stories. The first one I really related to the main character. She was a mom whose main life goal was raising her children. And now their children are grown and she has to figure out how to be a new kind of mom, a mom of adult children as well as find out what she's going to do with her time now that her children are no longer at home. I made a couple of challenges to myself with this book. I wanted to write a story that took place on a farm. I grew up on a pig farm, but for more than 40 years I've lived in cities. I did write some from my own memories, but I also did a lot of research and I interviewed my brother Jim, who now lives again on the same farm where we grew up and raises cattle. That was a lot of fun. The uh, main character in this story is grieving the loss of a baby and struggling with her marriage and trying to find out if God has a whole different life planned out for her and her husband. I also wanted to write a story where the main character was blind. It seems like that should be easy since I'm blind, but it really isn't. I do have trouble putting a lot of visual detail into my stories, but it just seems easier to assume that everybody in the stories can see what's going on. Facial expressions and body movements and uh, just basic visual details in the setting. But in this story, I had to have it be from the point of view of someone who was blind, as well as have her explain her disability to other people in the stories. It didn't turn out to be as hard as I thought it might be. The main character in this story has difficulty with her teenage daughter, and the daughter struggles with self-harm. Um, that novella is Am I Invisible? I also do a blog. I post on that every week. I talk about books and sometimes have other authors on as guests to talk about their books and their writing experience. I share fun memories from when our kids were small. I share recipes and talk about cooking. And I do devotional types of Bible studies. So I have a lot of fun with my blog. I also edit for other writers, and that is just such an honor to work with these really talented people and their amazing stories. As I've said, all of my books are available at Lakewood Library. You can also find them on Amazon and on my website, you can find out about my books as well as connect with me on my blog. 
and I would love for you to, to check out my blog. Well, God bless you, and thank you for letting me visit with you this afternoon.